subscribe. All right, welcome to another video on Mask of Tears. Today we're going to be talking about sub versus sub and why I say sub is a zone in part one. This stream was still up, sub zero MK1. Is sub zero good or bad? We're going to get straight into the topic. I'm going to let y'all watch the gameplay and I'm going to review as we go different strategies, knockdowns, all that jazz. But I ain't going to waste too much time in my mouth. Let's go. So I just want y'all to pay attention. I did Ice Clone. The first thing he did was jump, which tells me he's a very aggressive player. On top of the fact, if you look at his cameo, he's playing Scorpion. I'm playing Serena. Obviously, I'm one of them sub, them sub cheese heads that likes to sit there in zone all day. So why would you jump at me if round start? I'll never know. Ooh, good counter. Oh, another thing, just in case y'all didn't know, the dive kick, if I kick you in the head or chest, it's not going to allow me to combo you. If I kick you in your kneecaps and your legs, it allows me to juggle you. Just so y'all know. Same thing with the block advantage. If I kick you in the head or your chest, I go negative, and then you get to pretty much punish the bejeebies out of me. Slash, if I decide to keep going, it's kind of iffy. But if I go for your legs and your kneecaps, it's my turn. Now y'all saw I used jump in one into back two. Jumping one allows you to actually chain into back two because the hit advantage is so high. And that pretty much equals a be way better version of using back two. However, I just want to point out doing back doing jumping one into back two can catch some people off guard and block, but if they mash, you're gonna eat a full combo. I prefer to you all use jumping one and then back three, which is his trip, but I'll do a video about that separately. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. So y'all seeing people are creatures of habit, right? Round one, he jumped into the ice clone. I backed up. He's overly reactive. I literally use ice clone. He jumps to the ice clone again. Like it's just, it's, I'm telling you, people are creatures of habit. You're gonna see me blocking. It's gonna be a lot of empty space because I'm waiting for him to react. When he reacts, I'm basically gonna make him pay. Because for one, I can you can make a lot of characters pay on this game, but Sub Zero especially, he's not very good at like going in and like anytime you're you're basically being aggressive with Sub Zero, you're risking your whole life. Honestly, I don't recommend it. Something else I want to point out: he did ice slide, right? Ice slide on wake up. Back jump is one of the safest options you can do on wake up. If you don't want to take any risk on wake up, in most cases, unless the opponent has a really good anti air, like say like Smoke or uh, Homelander, when you jump back on wake up, most cases, if they wake up with a meterless reversal or metered reversal and they start, do something that's heat seeking, whether it be shadow kick, slide, etc., when you jump back, if you jump back at the right time, you can actually land on top of the move and get a full combo. Did it again. And you see, after I use jumping one, he used back two. Hey, we be learning off each other. He probably already knew it, but we, he had to show me a little something. So.
Could be. That dive kick everybody so it's so great. Such a great move. <laughs> now I want y'all to pay attention, right? Dive kick is such a great move, but if you're just literally so slow that you can literally walk back and punish it for a full combo. But it's, don't forget, dive kick is such a great move. So such a great move. And I don't want to shit on dive kick at sub zero, but I feel like if it was just a couple frames faster, it'd be a lot more deadly. Let's say if that was, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 frames. Just two frame, three frame difference, it'd be a lot more of a threat because even though you get a full combo off of it, if you hit it right on the right arc, um, you most of the time people are just gonna walk back, up block it, down to it. it I've seen I've seen people trip dive kick. It's, don't believe the hype. So this is one of the cases where actually using ice ball comes in clutch. If you use ice ball, not at full screen, but let's say almost full screen, like far range, right? And you do ice ball, you have enough time to actually forward dash and get like a full combo. So you're gonna see that real quick. Oh, never mind, he broke. <laughs> That only happened because when I woke up, I don't know what he was thinking, but he wasn't walking, so I just went for it, YOLO. Now, what I just did when I jumped and didn't do anything, that's called an empty jump. Because I basically conditioned my opponent at this point that I'm going to jump and react, he threw ice clone thinking he was going to freeze me, and I didn't do anything because the, the power of nothingness, as though Flossy Grandpa, shout out to Flossy Grandpa, has stated so many times. Sometimes the most powerful thing you can do is nothing. It's pretty much over at this point. He has no good option to hit me with. Finish him. Sub -zero wins. I think what was that? Zero two? Yep. So the basics of this why I'm doing this series is one, life is busy. Two, a lot of people have been requesting like Sub-Zero gameplay and like how to play Sub-Zero, etc. I'm gonna make mini guys thereafter, but the things I want to point out in this video that was used was safe jump, um, staggers, obviously, because the game, entire game is staggers. Um, jumping back on wake up is another discussion I kind of want to talk about the importance of actually using conditioning your opponent to make them believe that you're going to do this, but then switching it up. And then also paying attention to the habits of your opponents when your opponent starts off the first round jumping. That tends to show a tendency that they're probably hyper aggressive. And then you also want to look at 
especially with what cameo they're using because the cameo can quite literally determine how the fight is going to go. But it's been Masketeers. Till next time. Peace. Oh, wait, before y'all go, one more thing. I'm going to put timestamps in the description of the actual parts that I've talked about, uh, the certain tactics that were being used, so y'all can, you know, refresh yourselves. Kind of skim through the video. Peace.